Bailey has cerebral palsy. It means he can't walk and even struggles to sit up alone. Over the last three years, he's grown, and now simple but essential tasks such as taking him up and down the stairs every day are taking their toll on his family. Having to lift him up and down the, st- up and down the stairs, in and out the bath, can't do that anymore. Um, I've been to the doctor, um, was put on prescription for um, bad back, was put on antidepressants as well, because it, it, it does, it gets me down. I, I don't feel like his mum half the time because I don't do the things that I should be doing. It's my, he's my responsibility and I should be able to bath him, but I have to rely on the school to shower him every, every day now because I can't do it. The family need a through floor lift to get him upstairs, wider rooms and corridors for his wheelchair and a wet room to wash him. But their current property isn't suitable for adaptation. I've been refused over 40 properties now um, due to um, not having the adaptions that are suitable for Bailey. But Tanya and her family are part of a wider crisis. In North and North East Lincolnshire, nearly 450 families in the highest priority category are waiting to be rehomed. 77 of those include someone living with a disability and can't find a property with the suitable adaptations. And particularly when you're looking at full adaptations where you've got ground floor, complete ground floor living such as ground floor kitchens, bathrooms, wet rooms, um, bedrooms, the number of properties that can supply that to a, a high standard is, is comparatively low. Therefore, there is a danger that people can find the waiting times for those types of properties quite lengthy. So I think it is a problem, yes. And despite efforts to build for the future, the problem could get worse before it gets better. Well, it seems to be increasing and I think that's because as covered elsewhere on the National Health Service, people are living longer, people with disabilities are living longer, people are acquiring disabilities and yet living comparatively successfully and therefore I can only see the demand going up rather than going down. And until the problems are solved, people like Tanya and Bailey will be living in limbo, hoping, searching for a better life. He's 13. What 13 year old boy wants his mum to shower him? It's just independence for him, getting him um, back doing stuff, you know, that he wants to do. He used to be able to take himself off to his room himself. But since coming here, he's got none of that. It's all gone.